I have an iPhone 6 backlight uh, repair here. And first thing I do is I plug a uh, known good screen in there and see if I can see the Apple logo or not. If you can see the Apple logo, then it's definitely backlight circuit related. If you can't see it, then you're looking at more of like LCD related. So this one, I definitely can see the backlight. Or, I mean, I can definitely see the Apple logo. So you go straight to the backlight and so the backlight is here. Let me show you. Let's see this one FL two zero two six, which is um, PPLCM BL Cat two. Then you have this one. 20 FL2024, which is the LCM PPL CM BL anode connection, and you have FL2025, which is the PPL CM BL CAT1 connection. Take a multimeter to it, put it in diode mode, or aka continuity mode, and see if they all beep. Beep, beep, no beep. So, boom. That is the problem right here. This is the problem right here. So you just got to kind of pick the, um, and it seems like it's usually this one that blows. So So I just like taping the connector so that I don't burn anything up. A lot of times you'll touch your hot iron to this thing and uh, it'll kind of burn up a little bit. I'm taping the wrong damn thing here. So... Tape the plastic. Tape the plastic and you can either use your hot air gun, which I don't like to use hot air um, being it so close to the plastic. So what I like doing is I'm going to use my tweezers. My hot tweezers. So let's uh, blow this up and this should be a pretty straightforward repair. Just don't burn anything up, you know. If you want, you can use low melt as well, or you know, just make sure you tin it. You can probably use some flux. I'll put a little flux in there. I'll make things a little bit easier. Just a little bit. Boom, that's off. Okay. So that's good. Um you really you want to clean it up a little bit, so just kind of tin it a little bit. You can put some lo um, leaded solder on there too. That'll make things a little bit easier. Uh, let's see. So let's find out what kind of filter it is. This is 240 ohm 0201. So two hundred milliampere zero two zero one. All right. Uh, you can get about a hundred of these filters from DigiKey for like. I don't know, maybe eight bucks or something like that. It's really cheap. Zero two zero. Okay. All right. So I have my new filter here. 
pop it in. You can tint it if you want, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of position it. And I'm going to put a little bit of 60 or 6337 solder, Kessler solder, on the tip of my iron here. And then, and I'm just going to, well, it was too much. Just a little bit, really, because there's already some solder on there already. So. Just make sure you get a nice little flow. There you go. A nice shiny solder. And move it, wiggle it around a little bit. See if it's any good. Take your multimeter to it. Make sure that it beeps. Beep. And last step is to get some isopropyl alcohol and kind of clean up as much flux as you can. I like to put a little piece of chem wipe down there sometimes to, so that there's no uh, lint that gets on this thing. Otherwise, you know what? I'm still picking up lint, aren't I? Anyways, be liberal with the with the IPA because it's going to evaporate anyways. Done with the Kapton. Then I'll use my dry side of my uh, Q-tip and just kind of dry it up a little bit as much as possible. Make sure there's nothing stuck in these damn things, right? Like that. Right out. Right out. That out and try to get as much flux off of there as you can. There you go. Uh, all right, I'm going to switch cameras real quick. Alright, so I just hook a test display up to it, and as you can see, let me see if so I can do this. Okay, so there you go, backlight is back. We are back in business. So that's how you do a backlight, iPhone 6 backlight repair. Thanks for watching.